so here is uh, the first of our review videos on linear coordinate geometry and in this video we're going to be looking at finding the coordinates of the midpoint of a line segment and also being able to find the lengths of a line segment, otherwise known as the distance between two points. Um, so let's start with the midpoint of a line segment. So I've got a um, generalised diagram over here, just a random straight line. Unfortunately it looks like it has a nice even gradient of um, positive 1, um, which isn't the intent, this would work for any kind of gradient. Um, and so M, the red point there, is the midpoint of A and B. And A has coordinates x1, y1, and B has coordinates x2, y2. So if M is the midpoint of AB, that tells us that um, AM is the same length as MB. Um, so then we know that triangle ABC, the big triangle, this one, is similar to triangle AMP, this triangle. And we know that because they've got the same angles. Okay? The gradient tells us that this angle is the same as this angle. Um, similarly, the gradient tells us that this angle is the same as this angle. Similarly, they all have right angles. Um, and so what we have here is three different, three similar triangles, okay? Um, ABC, AMP, and also um, MBQ would all be similar triangles. Now because AMP and MBQ, so this one and this one, have the same, um, are similar, but they also have a side length the same, this one, that means they must be congruent. So that is, they are the same triangle, essentially. Same lengths and same angles. So if they are congruent, that also then tells us that this length must be the same as this length, okay? And therefore, that and that are the same distance, which means that the y coordinate is halfway between the two y coordinates of A and B, okay? And similarly, the fact that the two triangles are con congruent tells us that this length is the same as this length, so AP is the same as MQ. And that means that that is the same as that, which means that the X coordinate of M is halfway between the X coordinates of A and B. Okay? So if we want to find halfway between two points, we simply average. Okay? So that means that the X coordinate of the midpoint is the average of the x coordinates of the two other points. So we add together the x coordinates and divide by 2. The y coordinate of the midpoint is the average of the y coordinates of the other two points, and so we add together the y coordinates and divide by 2 to get the y coordinate of the midpoint. And so therefore, here is our formula for the midpoint. Now, one of the things that I struggle with is a lot of students. Um, have real trouble with this coordinate geometry and there's so many formulas and they mix them up and oh is this addition or subtraction because we subtract x1 and y1 and y x2 when it's gradient and we subtract when it's distance between two points and why do we add and I, I forget to add here and you are going to fall apart in this subject if you see mathematics as a series of complicated rules that need to be remembered and wrote learned there will be too much for you to remember and wrote learn over the next two years and you will not cope. Okay? You must understand what the formulas are doing. This looks horrible. All it is is the average of the x coordinates and the average of the y coordinates. A year eight student can average two numbers. Okay? So you've got to it's not about remembering the formula, it's about understanding what you're doing. Alright? So let's just have a quick look at a very straightforward example. Find the coordinates of the midpoint of the line segment AB, where A is negative 1, 4, and B is 6, negative 3. Okay, so the midpoint, the coordinates, brackets around coordinates aren't optional, despite the fact that my students often try to pretend they don't have to be there. And the y-coordinate, we're averaging the y-coordinate, so 4 plus negative 3 over 2. Let's just tidy those up. Negative 1 plus 6 is... 5 over 2, 4 plus negative 3 is 4 minus 3, so that's 1 over 2. So our midpoint is 5 on 2, half. You can write that as 2.5.5 if you want, but there is no reason to do so. Okay. So midpoint, 
average of the x coordinates, average of the y coordinates to get the x and y coordinates of the midpoint. Okay, length of a line segment. Similar kind of generalized diagram. So we've got the same two points, A with the coordinates x1, y1, and B with coordinates x2, y2. And we are interested in finding the length of the line segment joining those two points, okay? Or the distance between those two points. So essentially all we want to do here is use Pythagoras' theorem. And again, this is same as the midpoint. It's, an, it's a big, ugly, horrible looking formula. Do I add? Do I subtract? Is that an add or is that a addition or subtraction? Is that addition or subtraction? Do I put the x's first or the y's first? Do I, do I, does it have to be x1 minus x2 or x2 minus x1? All those things. Forget about that. Think about what you're doing. You're finding the distance between two points and you're using Pythagoras' theorem to do that. If worse comes to worse and you can't remember the formula for distance between two points, do a rough sketch with the two points, draw the right angle triangle and use Pythagoras' theorem because that's all the formula is doing. Okay, So all we're doing here is we're saying, okay, well we've got a right angle triangle here. The vertical distance is the difference between the y values. y2 minus y1 gives us the vertical distance and the horizontal distance, x2 minus x1, um, the difference between the x coordinates gives us the horizontal distance and then all we're doing is using Pythagoras. AB all squared is equal to x1 minus x, sorry, x2 minus x1 all squared plus y2 minus y1 all squared. Okay, all that is is Pythagoras' theorem. The hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the other two sides, side lengths squared. Um, as I said, people get confused. Do I add? Do I subtract? Does it matter? Do I have to do x values or y values? Now, it wouldn't matter if you if we wrote these brackets the other way around. Fine. So you can do the difference between the y values squared plus the difference between the x values squared if you prefer. That makes no difference. Unlike the gradient formula, which we'll talk about, it actually also doesn't matter whether you alternate these two things. In the gradient formula, I think the gradient's in the next video. Um, we'll review that. But gradient is rise over run. Oops. It doesn't really matter what x2 and x1 is, but it's, what's important is that you, you, you don't jumble things up. So the first two numbers, whichever y coordinate you put up the top here, it has to be the matching x coordinate that goes first on the bottom. Okay. However, in this formula, it wouldn't really matter if we switched one of them around because of the squaring. Okay. Because if you do, you know, 3 minus 1 all squared, that's 2 squared. But if you did 1 minus 3 all squared, that's negative 2 squared. But it's all the same thing anyway. Okay, So it actually doesn't matter which, which way around you do them. It's just the difference between the x values and the difference between the y values squared. So, you know, again, keeping an understanding of what it is that we're actually doing here. So find the distance between these two points. So the distance between a and b, a, b is going to be the square root of, if I remember my formula, square root of um, 6 minus minus 1 all squared plus negative 3 minus 4 all squared. Again, if I wrote um, 4 minus minus 3 in there, it wouldn't make a difference, whatever it might be. Okay. 6 minus minus 1 is 7 squared plus negative 7 squared. So that is 49 plus 49 which is the square root of 98, which we know from how we constructed it is two lots of 49. So 49 times 2, which means it is 7 root 2. Making sure you simplify your certs. As I said, if you forget the formula, just a quick rough sketch of the points. So what have we got? Negative 1, 4, and 6, negative 3. and then just work out this, you know, draw the triangle and work it out. So from, I'm looking at the x coordinates, from negative 1 across to 6, that's a distance of 7. From negative 3 up to 4, that's also a distance of 7. So ab squared is 7 squared plus 7 squared. Da, da, da. It's exactly the same calculation. It's actually no slower. Okay, so don't let's not get bogged down in rules, formulas, you know, x1s, x2s. It's all very ugly. It's just Pythagoras' theorem. At the end of the day. Okay, so a little bit of practice and revision, exercise 2A.